Hello everybody and welcome back to another video here for that F1 car. So we left off here with that tire. Um, and yeah, let me turn on wireframe and shade it here. So I clicked on that little icon here. Um, what we want to model now is that rim here in the background. So we get that one uh, reference image here, the side view, where we can see this. Um, but that's not giving us enough um, detail to see how that really looks, right? So let's check out a few images that we have here. So that's one where you can see the rim. Okay. So if you take a look at that, so we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten spokes here. And those are connected to, not to that outer. Uh, a ring here or I, d I don't know the right words for this but um, this is connected a little bit more um, a little bit lower here so I don't know if you know what I'm talking about but um, yeah, let's check out some other images oh yeah you can see the room here just a bit okay alright let's check those out here I'm just um, yeah just looking at the um, rim here to figure out how we can model this. So if you take a closer look on this image here, um, there's still, you know some not holes but something is in there. I don't know if I really want to model this. I could, but yeah, just, oh, we we can take uh, care about detail later on. So let's. Um, Maybe we find something. Yeah. Okay. So let's check it out on that wireframe in the background. Um, and that looks a little bit different. Um, you see that the spokes here are connected to that very outer part. And that's not well, what, what you can see on the photos that we have. So yeah, we could either stick on that wireframe here in the background or we could uh, do it a little bit more realistic in this case and do it like it looks here. And that's what we're going to do. So we got 10 spokes. And we go. Oh. Oh, let's. Oh, I, I'm just uh, seeing some, something here. So um, this is not 10 spokes because um, if it would be 10 spokes, we, we would have, uh, you know, spokes. Um, corresponding to each other. So let's count those. So, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Who? I don't know. Maybe somebody at Codemasters uh, didn't count right, or <laughs> maybe it's for uh, a purpose, but that's definitely not 10. So, all right, let's, um, let's get started here uh, modeling something. Uh, let's do it with the same technique I used for that rim tutorial. So create a polygon pipe here. Let's rotate that guy 90 degrees and Z. Let's move it um, to the center of the tire. Um, yeah, so move it first and, and, and Z and then V, middle mouse over this line here and then move it in Y. Hit uh, press V and middle mouse over this line here. And then we just move it roughly into position. Oh, that didn't work out. Okay, let's move it here and V snap. So there you go. All right, so bring it somewhere here. Let's go to the side view. Mm, let me turn on X ray mode here. Click on that button and let's go to the inputs. Click here on radius and then hit control and middle mouse. Scale that guy down to a point where that rim starts or the spokes coming out. So somewhere about here. And then let's uh, click here on thickness and control middle mouse and dial it down to uh, somewhere somewhere about here. Okay, and now let's uh, think about those subdivisions that, that we need. Um, we get 10 spokes that we want to model, not 11. Um, and so, so it's always some um, you always have to think about how many divisions do you need, right? So if we want to um, have 10 spokes, we have to um, 
the subdivision that, uh, on the on the axis that you can divide by 10. So um, 20 is a little bit too less. That's what I th think from here. So let's uh, try something like 40. Let's double that, right? And that's looking good to me. Okay, so let me go to the perspective view here. And we have to scale this guy a bit. So to roughly um, give it a thickness, how um, uh, deep those those um, spokes are going in. So let's check out an image here. Also, pretty fat. I think that's that's okay. We like uh, like always. You can go in there later on and add some detail or tweak that if you want to. Okay, so with that inner pipe or ring here uh, created, let's go in and create another polygon pipe. Click on that and then uh, rotate that guy 90 degrees in Z as well. Uh, move it uh, in uh, Z like we did with the first one. V, middle mouse over this point here. Move it in Y, V, middle mouse and snap it to the, this line here. Then move this guy somewhere here. And let's go to the side view again. And let's uh, scale that guy. So I don't want to connect the spokes um, to that outer ring like it is here in the background image. So I want to connect those a little bit earlier. Maybe at this at this line here. So let's um, go here to the inputs. Uh, select the radius and create something like this. And then uh, click here on thickness, control middle mouse to scale it somewhere about here. Yeah, something like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. Only a rough shape. Mm, you might want to dial up that radius a bit more. And the thickness. Yeah, something like that. It should work. Okay, so now let's um, give it more subdivisions here. So we got 40 on the smaller piece. Let's try something like 80. Yeah, so I'm looking at, at this here and I think that's gonna work. Um, so we, um, what we could do now is we uh, hit Q to exit the last tool. So select uh, this ring and the other uh, pipe and then hit Alt-H. Uh, oops, let me undo that. Uh, hit Alt-H, okay, um, to uh, only s see what you have selected. So hide everything else in your scene. And now we want to um, move uh, those vertices here yeah, to the same level as the smaller. Uh, so move move those verts here in X and then V middle mouse over this vertex and do the same here with the, the other side. Move it here in X and then V middle mouse and snap it. Okay, so we get um, two pieces here that we can connect now. Mm, what I want to do is uh, select both of um, both objects and say combine. So what happens then is if you combine two objects, it uh, moves the pivot here to the origin. So it's sitting on zero, right? And that's not what we want. So what we could do now is just center the pivot. So I got the center pivot button here on my shelf. And if you don't have that there, you can get it under Modify, I guess. Yeah, right here under Modify Center Pivot. So if you want to ha have it on your shelf, just hit Control Shift uh, and then left click and then uh, it, it's putting that icon here to your shelf. Okay, so with that ob object selected, let me center the pivot. So the pivot here is now exactly in the center of the two uh, pipes here, or it's one object, but you know what I mean. Okay, so let's go on. Let's uh, go to face mode. Let's select this, uh, the two faces up here, two faces down here, and just hit delete. And now you get uh, two uh, holes in here, corresponding holes. So let's uh, go to edge mode, double click on that border edge here. So it selects the whole border edge, and then uh, hold down shift, 
double click on this one here so we get uh, the two um, border edges here selected and then go to edit mesh and we want to use the bridge tool to connect those so you can go here to the options check those out so mine uh, set here uh, uh, the visions of zero and that's exactly what I want so hit apply okay so we got one spoke a fat one so we obviously have to scale that guy so another thing what we could do is um, just to give it a bit more detail select this uh, edge here and then control right click go to the edge ring utilities to edge ring and split and we do the same here on the other side so select one edge and now um, if you hit G on your keyboard, uh, it's going to be repeat last tool. So I hit G and there you go. I got my uh, uh, edge loop here uh, on the back side. Okay. And now let's uh, go in here and let's insert some uh, additional edge, loop on, uh, edge loops on that spoke. Um, I definitely want to have the little bit rounded shape here at the end, but this has got to sit somewhere here and I want to have this rounded shape down here okay so let's um, yeah let's uh, go in and insert some edge loops so I've got a button here on my shelf for this um, and I was asked asked uh, many times in some other tutorials I made um, where does this tool come from so <laughs> so if you if you hover over that, it says uh, split selected edge ring. And that's not how they call it in the drop down menu. So, uh, for the beginners out there, um, this is going to be the tool found under Edit Mesh. And then it's going to be the Insert Edge Loop tool. So, if you hit again Control and Shift and then left click, uh, you see it up here, it put it on my shelf. So, I don't want to have two of those there so I just middle mouse drag it onto that little trash bin here and get rid of it okay so now let's insert some edge loops so one here one there and let's go in one here and one there okay so let's go to vertex mode select those verts and scale those in select those here scale those in as well we could move those down just a rough shape here something like that and scale so now we could go in and say we want to take those three and move those up and scale those out somewhere about here Okay, I think <coughs> this is going to work first. Yeah, we definitely have to insert a bit more detail and then uh, tweak this a bit more. But yeah, for the start of that rim, um, that's going to be it for this video. And uh, thank God. So for some reason, YouTube uh, was... Um, uh, so my, my limit was 10 minutes something uh, but uh, a few days ago I got the message that I now can upload 15 minutes videos so that's good uh, all right so yeah I think I'm gonna uh, pause this video and finish the rim here in the next video